Peace and Plenty, Finding Your Path to Financial Serenity, by Sarah Ban Brethnock is a self-help book that delves into the intricate relationship between money and personal well-being. Brethnock, renowned for her best-selling book, Simple Abundance, brings her unique blend of spirituality and practicality to the realm of finance. In this literary analysis, we will explore the key themes, persuasive techniques, and the overall impact of the book. One of the central themes in Peace and Plenty is the idea that achieving financial serenity requires a deep understanding of one's relationship with money. Brethnock argues that this relationship is shaped by personal beliefs, experiences, and values. She encourages readers to embark on a journey of self-discovery to uncover their money biography. By examining their financial past, individuals can gain insights into their present attitudes and behaviors towards money. This theme underscores the book's core message, financial peace is not solely about numbers, it's about understanding and aligning one's inner self with their financial goals. Brethnock's persuasive techniques are rooted in her empathetic and conversational writing style. She draws readers in by sharing personal anecdotes and experiences, making her relatable and trustworthy. Throughout the book, she maintains a tone of understanding, acknowledging the challenges that people face when dealing with money. By doing so, she establishes a strong emotional connection with her audience, which is crucial for conveying her message effectively. Another persuasive technique employed by Brethnock is her use of quotes, references, and wisdom from various sources, including literature, philosophy, and spirituality. She weaves these insights seamlessly into her narrative, providing readers with a rich tapestry of ideas and perspectives. This not only adds depth to her arguments but also lends credibility to her advice. By referencing the wisdom of renowned figures like Ralph Waldo Emerson and Henry David Thoreau, Brethnock aligns her financial philosophy with a broader tradition of thought. Brethnock also emphasizes the importance of gratitude and mindfulness in achieving financial serenity. She introduces the concept of a gratitude journal, where readers are encouraged to document daily blessings and abundance in their lives. This practice, she argues, can shift one's focus from scarcity to abundance, ultimately leading to a more positive and peaceful relationship with money. Additionally, she advocates for mindfulness in financial decision-making, urging readers to pause and reflect on their spending choices. By incorporating these practices into their lives, readers can cultivate a sense of contentment and reduce the impulse to overspend or accumulate debt. The book also explores the concept of simplicity principle, which calls for a shift from the pursuit of more to the appreciation of less. Brethnock contends that many people fall into the trap of consumerism, constantly seeking more material possessions in the belief that they will find happiness and security in abundance. However, she argues that true financial serenity comes from simplifying one's life and appreciating the inherent value in what one already has. This theme resonates with the minimalist movement and dovetails with the idea that excessive consumption often leads to financial stress and discontent. Moreover, Brethnock delves into the significance of setting and achieving financial goals. She asserts that having clear financial goals provides a sense of purpose and direction in one's financial journey. Whether it's saving for a dream vacation, paying off debt, or building an emergency fund, setting achievable goals allows individuals to take concrete steps toward financial serenity. She offers practical advice on budgeting and saving, emphasizing the importance of small, consistent actions that align with one's financial aspirations. Peace and plenty is not without its critics. 
Some may argue that Brethnock's approach is overly idealistic and detached from the harsh realities of financial hardship that many people face. While her emphasis on gratitude and mindfulness is valuable, it may be challenging for individuals in dire financial situations to apply these principles immediately. Additionally, the book's reliance on personal anecdotes and references to literature may not resonate with all readers. In conclusion, Peace and Plenty, Finding Your Path to Financial Serenity, by Sarah Ban Brethnock offers a unique perspective on the relationship between money and personal well-being. Through empathetic storytelling, references to literary and philosophical wisdom, and practical advice, Brethnock guides readers on a journey of self-discovery and financial empowerment. The book's central themes of understanding one's money biography, practicing gratitude and mindfulness, embracing simplicity, and setting meaningful financial goals provide a holistic approach to achieving financial serenity. While it may not appeal to everyone, Peace and Plenty serves as a thought-provoking and insightful resource for those seeking to transform their relationship with money and find greater peace in their financial lives.